now I'm going to have a look at one of these suckers, which is direct buried. And it's direct buried in pretty pavers. We really don't want to go and excavate this and chew up all the pavers in the car park. Even when they're just buried in grass, it's a lot of work to dig right down and, and upset the garden, and time is money. So we're going to use the Innerspec Emrut uh, EMAT gear. EMAT is uh, electromagnetic acoustic technology, and uh, Emrut is medium range ultra ultrasonic testing. So I've got the Powerbox H, which is this little sucker here. Uh, but basically, we want to have a look for corrosion underground. Some other companies take the inspection panel off here and stick a boroscope camera down and have a look for corrosion. That's only going to show you the corrosion on the inside of the pole. Most of the corrosion is from the outside of the pole where the water seeps down in these gaps here. And around here, there's a lot of bore water doing the uh, irrigation of gardens, and it's terrible stuff, and it really does corrode poles badly you're never going to see it from the inside until it's too late and it's gone right through the wall thickness of the pole and the pole is about to fall over so this gear quickly easily detects corrosion right to the base of the pole with no excavating okay so this is as i said before this is the inner spec power box h unit um, we stick a tuning module in here that matches the frequency of the coil here now this coil here usually goes on an encoder unit, a, hand, a really fancy little encoder unit with wheels and it rolls, rolls circumferentially around a pipeline and it was designed for inspecting oil and gas pipelines out in the field quickly and easily up to uh, 9 feet in either direction instantly for corrosion. We've adapted it for poles and what we've done is we've instead of putting one of these magnetostrictive strips right around the circumference we just put one on each side. Uh, now this magnetostrictive strip sticks on with double-sided tape and we get one of these little magnets here and we just wipe it across the surface three or four times. I've already done it for you. And we switch the encoding mechanism on the Powerbox H to free running, which means we're not relying on the encoder to tell us where the strip is. It's just gonna cascade down the screen and give us a readout very much like that. I'll demonstrate for you. So we just hold this on. Now I need my phone hand to press play. So as you can see there, the A scan at the top is showing some pretty strong signals, which I'll explain in a minute. And the cascading B scan is showing you a visual representation of, of what's going on. Now I'm just going to press pause in a sec when I've got a full screen. I can move this around a little bit and get slightly different. I'm just moving this around just slightly, just to just to tweak it. As you can see, I have moved it there. All right, I've paused that now. Now this major A scan indication here is looking upwards because it looks in both directions at once, and it's picking up the base of the inspection plate. Really, really strong signal there. And if we press this button here we've got this ruler and it says it's 800 millimeters so I've measured from there to there pretty much dead on 800 millimeters so I know that that's the inspection plate now this next fairly significant a scan that's the base of the pole and it's 1200 millimeters down under the ground now, that's really good that I can get the base of the pole as a strong signal because it means that there's no significant corrosion that's attenuating that signal. I'm getting a nice strong signal from the very base of the pole. And as you can see from 400 millimeters onwards, we have got a little bit of a signal there, just there, which may be a little bit of corrosion, that yellow line. So I'll report on that. And then after that, it's clear. We know that we have to ignore that one because it's the inspection plate and it's fairly clear all the way out to the base of the pole. So not a bad inspection. I've done it on the other side as well, it's even cleaner. So I'll report that there's something down here, a little bit of corrosion, but nothing too significant. And uh, that's done. We just tear that little sucker off so we don't cut anyone as they walk past and move on to the next pole as quick as that.